hello friends today in this tutorial i'll be showing you that how to embed youtube videos inside your angular 13 application using ngx youtube player library in browser so you can see inside this demo you can see the youtube video displayed here and two buttons are there to play the video and pause it so i will go to a video here my video simply copy the video id here which is available after the v is equal to simply copy the video id that you need to display and i will manipulate it pasted the video id here and now you will see my video will be displayed here this is a video i can click the play button to play it now it, you can see the video is playing i can also pause it by using this pause button so now you can see the video is stopped again i can play it again i can pause it so I will be showing you how to dis embed this YouTube video using a component library inside Angular 13 application. So all the source code I have given in the video description. So this is a blog post I have written step by step. All the source code is given here. So I will be following this blog post. So let's get started by building this application. So first of all, the application is using this library so if you go to npmjs.com search for this library ngx youtube player so the very first result which comes in this is a library you can see 2404 vp downloads so this is a library is there so first of all i will just delete all the source code and start from scratch so that you can follow along so now you can see this is the empty angular 13 a project here so now first thing you need to do is that you need to go to your source folder and then open this app.module.ts file and here you need to copy paste this line here which is import you need to import this from ngx youtube player and uh, then you need to import this uh, ngx YouTube player module. So now import this and inside your pro uh, import array just import this ngx YouTube player module dot for root. That's it. Now close this file. We have successfully imported this module. Now open app dot component dot html file. So right here we will simply have a tag which is YouTube player and inside this we will dynamically insert the video id by using this parameter which is video dash id inside square brackets video id this will be equal to the id parameter that we define and on ready function function so when this is ready we will call this function save player so we will pass the event here like this and here you can pass the options inside the players players bass this is option and uh, we will call this method this is the option here that's it now we will have uh, two buttons first button to play the video so play video and second button will be to pause video like this and we will attach on click so when we click these buttons so when we click these buttons so we will play video this is a function we will execute and when we click the pause button we will execute pause video so that's it guys this is the button type you can just say type button So now the template code is complete. Now we can move to app.component.ts file. So here we can define first of all the ID variable. So whichever ID that you need to insert. So this will be equal to the YouTube ID. So you can go to a YouTube video. So this is the YouTube ID of the particular YouTube video that you need to insert. And then we will insert the player's pass. This is the object this contains the language so cc lang preference so our preference will be english language 
you can provide any language of your choice this needs to be colon so after providing that guys we will declare the player variable to any and now we will write the function save player so when the player is loaded this function will automatically execute and we will initialize the reference distort player to player and now we will add, uh, write the two methods which is to play the video and pause the video so this is very easy play video so now to play a video it is very easy here we will simply call this dot player dot and it contains a method here which is play video which will actually play the video and for the pause video it is simple this dot player dot pause video so that's it guys so now if you run this it will compile this successfully so if you open this localhost 4200 this is the video if you play it the video is playing if you pause it the video is paused again play it again pause it so this is a very good application you can change the video id to any video of your choice that you want to embed this is a very simplest of angular 13 component if you want to display a youtube video inside the browser using this ngx youtube player library so all the source code will be there inside video description you can just download it and please hit the like button subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next video